Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create another custom page layout uh, that we're going to be using for our application. So uh, let me go through what we have and basically talk about why we're going to go and do the steps we're about to do. So right now we have an account. Uh, we're, we now have an ability to create an account. Uh, but, you know, there's something we need to do is like we need a bit the ability to create another account if we wanted to. Like, you know, we should be able to create multiple accounts, um, you know, just by logging in to my account. I should be able to create more than one account. I should be able to manage more than one company, if you will. So uh, basically right now, uh, you know, the welcome package we created, um, you know, just disappears once we have the account already created. So another thing we need to do is we need to kind of like clean up the styling for this. This is the name of the account. So what we want to do is like have it in the middle of the page and maybe in a box uh, that we can choose to open and then we can go ahead and see the details inside of the account. That would be nice, right? Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to start off by creating a page layout uh, and I'm going to do that by just simply modifying this page. Uh, the collection, the account collection. Uh, and as we're styling, I'm going to abstract uh, away the stuff that is reusable, like things that we can do use over and over again. So without any further ado, let's hop right in and get started. Uh, so I'm going to head over into the code over here. Um, so you can see this is, uh, you know, the collection. It's rendering out the account name. Uh, and the account uh, ID as the key of the component. So what I'm going to do here is I need, uh, first of all, some kind of bar at the top over here uh, would be nice. So um, let's go ahead and create that bar. Uh, I guess we could use the same styling as what we had over here. So let's see. So this is a div pure menu and uh, it's got two sections. So, I mean, ideally we could have another bar with uh, like three sections and that could be our... Uh, action bar, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use a stame style. So pure menu, pure menu, horizontal, um, pure G. So let's do that. So div class name, pure menu, pure menu, horizon, horizontal, um, and pure G. So that's going to be our action bar. And what we also want to do is we want to create um, a way for us to customize this bar, like, you know, give it a background color and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to import class names from class names like that. And then here uh, we can do uh, class names pure you and all that stuff is great and here we can do a styles dot action bar if you will all right okay so that looks pretty good and uh, i guess we need to import a style so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a collection dot sass and then do an action bar and uh, we want to import our colors as well. Uh, so I'm going to do an import styles colors from our design language. And then basically we want to color this bar. Uh, so we want it to be a, a certain height. So let's do a height, uh, 32 pixels, and then we'll pick a color. So I'm going to head over in to see what colors we have. Vendor. Nope. Styles colors, that's the color. Uh, let's try um, light teal, uh, see what happens. So I'm gonna head over into our collection. Background, base, light teal. All right, so it's complaining we have an error. Let's see what it is. Styles is not defined, so we need to do an import. Import styles from collection dot sass and uh, yeah styles at action bar and so there we go we have this bar now at the top um, that basically is kind of like our action bar 
Uh, I don't need to take a screenshot. Uh, inspect element. So we have this bar that we can now use. So we can put in like a create uh, account button in there or, you know, whatever it is we need to do. Uh, I think that looks pretty good, but we don't want to focus too much on um, the styling just yet. So I think this works for now. So let's see the height of this one here. Uh, so what we want to do is want to add a button in there that will basically um, that will basically allow us to create an account. Uh, so let's see what we can do about that. So here we have the colors. Yep, that's okay. Uh, so in action, uh, you know, when we have an action, we want to basically be able to click on that and then have it trigger the moto box. Uh, so here we're going to do a div class name here, you one third div, and let's put some text in here so that we can see what's going on. Class name, pure you one third, blah two div, div class name, pure you one third, blah three. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got over here. So we've got these three columns, and basically what we could do is we could use one of these columns as an action bar, and we can use one of these columns as the title uh, of the page, and we can use uh, the left to be able to add, like, you know, to go back. So if you look at the iOS uh, app design or Android app design, they'll have a back button. So we can use the left column as a back button. Uh, so now we're getting to a little bit of UX design, uh, and, you know, I start to now use this mentality across um, you know, my apps. So to make it easy to use because people are already familiar with the workflow of iOS and Android. And so we can transfer some of the good stuff to the web as well. Uh, so th the first column can be like a back button if we need to, like it's going to be context sensitive. And what that means is if we are on a page where we can go back, we will use it. But if not, uh, by default, we'll use at least a page title. So in this case, uh, you know, we can start filling out this, um, center column and then we can see how it looks uh, so let's go ahead and uh, create a um, this text over here so what we're going to be doing is call it you know what this page is the accounts yeah accounts works so maybe we put it in like a h1 tag All right, so uh, we also need a, yeah, each one's okay. So we, maybe we have a title. So dot title and uh, text align center. So let's give this a whirl. So we're gonna use class name styles dot title. All right, so let's see what's going on in terms of um, the problem with this one here. So I guess we fixed the height. So I guess we no longer need to fix the height. Um, let's see what happens if we don't. All right, so now it, it's, you know, it grows naturally as, as much as the content uh, that's in, inside of it. Uh, so let's fix the color and the, you know, the, this style for our title. So font weight 100 should be okay. Uh, and color can be base, dark, teal. Yeah, so I'm not too big of a fan of what we've got over here. Uh, I think maybe if we have a white background and maybe give it like a bit of a border. Um, so border, bottom, um, base, light, teal. Uh, solid one pixel, maybe two pixels. So maybe something like that works a little bit better. Um, so not going to focus too much on that just yet. Uh, let's make that light teal as well. And the font can be definitely smaller. So, uh, font size, uh, 20 pixels. All right, so accounts, we can see that, it's fine. Uh, so the next thing we wanna do is add like a link over here that allows us to 
um, create an account. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and let's try it out. So here I'm gonna do a, so it's gonna be a link. So ahref, and now we're gonna be able to cover a new concept. And basically, uh, let me explain to you guys before we actually go ahead and create um, the moto box. So if I go to the welcome screen, you'll see that we have this open moto. So we can reuse this function here, um, here. So um, let's see. Yeah, I think I think we can. I think it's better we just copy this code because it's it's different context. I was going to show you guys something, some a cool new technique, but we don't need to do that just yet. It doesn't really apply right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this open modal uh, and basically uh, paste it in here like that. And uh, it, we need to do an import on the accounts as well. So import accounts from... So actually we need to import the new. So new because we're already in the accounts from new. Yep. And then here we can just remove this guy over here. Uh, and so what we want to do here is we want to uh, toggles on click this dot open modal and uh, close out the A. And so we also want to use our button style over here. Um, so we can do a class name and then we can import our buttons. Uh, so anywhere else we have imported the buttons. So yeah. Yep, so buttons right there, we import it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and import the buttons over here. and basically give it that buttons.base. And here we're gonna do a new account. So we have a, 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 we have a button now, new account, but it's not in the right place. So let's see what we can do about that. Uh, so we need to uh, style our button a little bit more correctly. So we need to use this pure button and then pure gold if, you, if we want. So let's see what other color buttons we have so we have gold and base so base should be okay for us to start off with um so let's go into the collection and do a class names pure button and then button base all right there we go so now we have a new account button uh, it's not exactly in the right place, but we can fix that later. Uh, and I'll, 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 you know, talk a little bit about how we're going to fix that. So it's all just CSS. So I don't want to waste your time. I just want to show you guys that now we have the new account button. We can make it work. So if I click on that, uh, let's get it working first. Right now, it doesn't really work. Uh, so settings is undefined. That's because over here, uh, we've got to use the, the settings from the previous... Um, you know, for when we created the settings for uh, our application that we assigned the modal box to. So what I'm going to do here is going to do settings like that. So now we'll have access to our modal box. I click that. I get the new account form just like that very, very quickly. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so now that we are able to create a new account, um, you know, we can it's easier for us to test it out. We don't have to worry so much about um, you know deleting the account and coming back. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause here and uh, you know now that we have the action bar, uh, I'm going to clean this up uh, styling wise off screen uh, and then basically in the next episode I'll do a review of what I did um, you know to get everything aligned correctly and move everything into place because I don't want to do too much styling on screen because it's kind of boring. I just want to show you guys that we're creating a new layout, new page layout. A page component and then uh, basically we're going to style it up fix it up make it look good and then we're going to abstract it into a component we can reuse over and over so yeah with that uh, i want to wrap it up so like share and subscribe also click on the bell button so you get a notification when we post a new video on youtube um, and also become a member for nine bucks a month so you get access to everything we have 
Uh, and so, yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next episode.